Hey guys, Jonathan Graham here. Well today I'll be showing you my latest design and if you may have seen my other videos I've done I like to design boxes so it may not be a huge surprise that it's a box. But it's a really nice box. These are from This is from a 10 inch square. One square of paper, it opens like this and you can put something inside like a smaller one. And then you just sort of slide it together like this. This is from a 10 inch square. This one here I think might be an 8 inch square. Dual paper with a different color. And inside here I have one made from the size that we're going to be making today. Here's one made from a 6, oops, there we go, there it is. From a 6 inch square of dual paper. Um, this is a size we'll be making but we'll be using paper with white on one side. And I'm going to be showing you in the way I'm going to teach you it is if you, you might be able to see better on here, this is like an earlier prototype. You can see we have a lot of extra creases on here. Same with this one, but this one they're a little bit less noticeable because of the pattern. But this is, we're going to do it so that there's no extra creases on the box. So here we go. You want to start with a 6 inch square or any size square with the colored side down or if it's a duo paper, you want the main color facing down and the color you want here facing up. So first we're going to fold in half horizontally, but we're only going to pinch the center. Now we're going to do what's called a cupboard fold. We're going to fold these to the middle. And this is to help make it completely seamless. And now we're going to fold the other side into the middle. So we have two sides to the middle. Now we're going to turn it so, or actually before we do that, I'm going to fold these sides to the center again. Try to make precise folds. Make sure you line things up nicely here so you have a nice looking box. And now we're going to unfold these ones, just these ones, we're not going to unfold here. We're going to turn it so it's going up and down and we're going to fold in half again but I'm going to only pinch in the very middle again. Now we're going to fold these ends to the center, to the pinch we just made which marks the center of the paper. Make sure we line up the edges over here as well, and fold the other side to the middle. Crease sharply. Unfold both sides, and now we're going to basically, you want to crease it really sharply here because you want this to be really, noted, really um, reinforced. Now we're going to take this edge here, and we're going to fold it to this end to this crease. So I'm going to bring up this edge so it lands on that one fourth crease there. Make sure to line up the edges and everything. Crease it sharply. Unfold. Now to make this a little easier to see, show on camera, I'm going to rotate this 180 degrees so that this side is up here. Now we're going to take this edge and fold it up so that this edge here lands on this crease that's furthest away. Just like so. Essentially what we're doing there is folding into the eight sections. And now we're going to take this edge here and fold it to the crease closest to you. Unfold that, and then we can do the same on the other end. Fold this edge to the closest crease. So essentially what we did, and make sure you do it nice and straight. And what you did basically is we divided this into eight sections, except this middle two sections are, there's no crease in between because that's where, the, this will be the bottom and sides of our box. Now we're going to unfold everything here. And we're going to turn it over and have it so that the these creases are going horizontally. We're going to pick any side we want. I'll just use the side closest to me. And we're going to take this raw, this edge and fold it to this closest crease. Make sure to keep it lined up and be careful not to tear it. It's sometimes easy to tear when you're folding up small edges like this. Make sure it's in view. Just like so. Crease it down. Now we're going to just turn this over and we're going to fold the sides to the middle again on the existing fold. And we'll take these sides and just reinforce the crease through the edge we folded down. Now we're going to do some pre-creasing to make our box. So we're going to turn this over. And this square with no creases or just a few pinches in the center will be the bottom of our box. See if I take this other box, it's the same size. We're going to make some valley folds. We're going to take, make a crease go from here to here. So we're going to turn it and bring this edge up to the edge, only creasing in that small square. 
We're going to do the same on this side. And now we're going to take the square and make a valley crease going this other way. Again, you can just line up the edge to the crease there. And also on this other square. So that's the pre-creasing for this side done. Now on this other side, we're going to see our square here. We're going to use these squares and make a valley fold going here and a valley fold going there. So I'll just bring this edge up to this crease. And only creasing in that one block or that one square. Same with this side. Nice sharp crease as well. And now we're going to actually make the box. So we're going to turn this over so that it's like this. And we're going to fold these up. And now this is a fun little fold and maybe sort of tricky but not that really that hard once you know how to do it. We're going to start off by doing what I call this traditional style box fold where we use this crease here and bring this up. It almost automatically goes into that shape. And now comes the sort of tricky part. We're going to, there's a, it's a mountain fold as you can see there, but we're going to make it a valley fold when we do this. We're going to basically take this, fold it down, it's a little hard to show here, here. Fold it over on this triangle, folding that triangle in half, like that. And then from this other side it looks like this, and allow this to slip underneath the outside. This is probably the most tricky part, but really it's probably a little trickier to show than it is to do, but I'm going to try to show you the best I can. So that's one side there. So basically you fold this up like this, folding that triangle in half, allowing this to come down inside like that. This is going to be done the same on this side. So let me just try to demonstrate here. So again, I'm going to reverse the crease. Make sure you're just getting, make sure you're getting just this top one and reverse it, fold it in, allow this to, this edge to go underneath this edge. And now I have a crease I can show you better. Now once it's done like that, you can kind of fold this down like that, and this will be the top of the box right here. And now for the next part, it's really easy. You're just going to fold it in just like any other box. And I like to fold this over first to pinch it and fold it back. And we're going to make a taper on this flap. We're going to go from this first crease here to the edge, and we'll just fold it in how far? Well, about like that. You don't want it to be a complete point on the top. And same here. So you have a sort of a trapezoid shaped flap. And I like to put a little crease here and sort of curve this a bit because this makes it easier to close. So when you're, this is pretty much the finished model. So you can put your gift in here, and there's a pocket right there. Take this flap, first I'm going to just fold this over this way, tuck it into the pocket, and then these side flaps stay tucked inside the sides, and you have yourself a f actually fairly secure and sturdy gift box. And there is the finished gift box. It's really cool. Um, it's not that's the bottom there. And you see it's pretty much seamless. There's a few pinches there, but that's the bottom anyways. So pretty easy to make. I hope you're able to make that one. The origami gift box from Square of Paper. Let's take that one and you can put that into this one. And then you just tuck the flap in. And I can even take this one. I'll take this smaller one out. And I can nest this in here so you can make nesting boxes. These are just happening the right size squares. And then once again, you just tuck them in, close it, and that's the box. I hope you enjoyed it. It wasn't that hard to make. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and remember to like this video, and I will see you next time.